Hi, this is Cami from Cami's Craftiques. Welcome back to my part two video of my vintage thrift haul. Um, so I'd like to welcome everybody back and I'm going to get right off and start going with what I'm going with. Okay, so at the Goodwill, I found this Japanese hand-painted peacock vase or vase, however you like to say it. And you could see the first peacock is here, and then there is another peacock. This guy is proudly showing all his beautiful feathers. This one, no. And I believe these are peonies, and this is dogwood. But I want to say this vase is probably about six inches. It has like the crackle glazing in it. I don't know if you could see that. And these date from about 1970. I remember back like in the 70s, my mother had these big, big vases and they were similar to this and they were very popular back then. So I want to say this is about the 1970s and I paid $3.99 for this and I'm expecting to get between, I don't know, $10 and $15 because I do feel it's a very pretty vase. It's hand painted and I think it would sit well on a mantle. I think that would be beautiful. Maybe with some like long stems. Okay, so I have that. The next item I have is, this is a reproduction of the original Pillsbury Heritage recipe box. Uh, this dates from 1983, this one, and when I opened it up inside, there are a couple of recipes that I'm going to leave in here because I think it's pretty cool because you can see the paper is old and yellowed and it's a start to your recipe collection. This I got at a local thrift store and I believe I paid 25 cents for this. I mean, it's from 1983, it's what, 83, 93, 2003, 2013. It's 36 years old, it's in great shape, it's tin, it does have some scuffs and wear at the bottom. But other than that, I think it's really cute. Like if you have a farmhouse kitchen, you sit it on the shelf, I think it'd be great, like it just as is even. and. On there, you'll see like best flower. You'll see the little girl with the flower sack. The front pictures, you know, some baked goods, bread and everything. And you'll see like a city, city street. The back is, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see, um, I'm trying to read it, illustrations from Richard Farrell collection Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. So you'll see like the train and everything. Is that a train? No, maybe not. No, I think it is. I think there's a train back there. So I think that's pretty cool. And the recipes on there. And then on the top. So this is a neat little box. And I expect to get for this recipe box I don't know, maybe about $5. I think like that would be a pretty fair, decent amount. Uh, the next item, I actually thought this was really cute. It's the plate. It's a lidded jam bowl, but I wouldn't really use it for jam. I thought it would be great for like ketchup, not ketchup, mayo mustard and maybe relish and you could use it these are all individual dishes one has the grapes one has cherries and one has i think i i don't know if it's an apple or a peach and then it comes with this plate 
and it has little slots over here for your spoon, for your condiment spoon. And the top is really cute too. The top is all the same fruits with the strawberry handle. I do notice on top, and like I said, I always like to point out any floors. There is, I don't know if it's a little chip. Let's see if we could get that. I'm trying to get it. You could see it right there. There's a little chip or missing paint. But you know what? It doesn't take away at all for this. So I paid, they were looking for $3, but the day I went, they were doing half price. So I got this for $1.50. And I figured I will be asking between $10 and $12 for this piece. I think it's a great piece. I mean, you could use it for different jams, like at Christmas time when company's over or at Easter and you have your holiday breakfast, breakfast you, your different jams, like if you want to use it for that purpose or just, you know, every day. Now, as I'm looking, this isn't a chip over here. It's just some missing paint. And that's from the manufacturer because I didn't notice it before, but it was staring me like front and center. And that's why I did, you know, check it out. And I do have to clean this a little glue residue. So that's that. Um, what else do I have? Okay. So the next thing that I have is me, it was copyright Sears Roebuck and Sears Roebuck and Company 1977 Japan and this is Neil the Frog. It, Neil the Frog has a whole line of kitchen accessories. This is the napkin holder. I think he is so cute. See? His lily pad in the back. Um, I do want to point out Neil the Frog does have a couple of issues I do see like a chip over here, a little missing paint chip, and then on top, this mark. I don't know what that blemish is, but all in all, for something that is 77, you know, 87, 97, 2007, Something that is 42 years old, I think this is in great shape, uh, shape. And again, a lot of my items will do very well in your farmhouse decor. So that's this piece. Okay, I wanna move along, move along, move along. The next piece is an Inesco, Inesco rather, Noah's the Ark baby, baby Nursery Lamp. This is from 1989. And if you could see, whoops, I got it upside down. You could see the label. And it works because I did test it. And it carries, you know, like those little Christmas bulbs. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's what it is. And there is nowhere on the front. And then his animals, there's a bunny, there's a teddy bear, a little mouse, an elephant, the giraffe. I think this is so, so, so cute. And I paid for this. What did I pay for this? I paid $2.99 for this. I'm going to list this one up. I want to say, um, I think $10 is a really fair price for this. Because if you get to go into Target or Walmart, you're going to get something that's Inesco make, made and makes precious moments. So these animals are kind of like that precious moment look. So, I mean, for $10, I think this is a really great buy. And there's like no wear, no tear. Other than where there was a sticker, you can maybe scrub it off. But that's the bottom. Nobody's going to see that. So $10 is definitely fair for that piece. Um, okay. We don't want to drop that piece either. <coughs> Excuse me. So the next two pieces are from Axon. They're made in Japan. The label's already there, and it's called the Rooster 
and roses pattern. So I have the sugar and the creamer. The sugar bowl does have some issues. It's missing a lid. It does have, it's like a hairline crack, but I, but the crack does go through to the other side. Um, and there was a chip over here on the bottom rim, but I did want to keep it anyhow because I thought somebody out there might want this anyway to use if you could get the lid or keep it open. The pitcher is in fine shape. That's the back. That's the back. Here's the rooster on the front. The, the pitcher, the creamer rather, is in perfect shape. There's no chips, no dings, no nothing. And again, they both have their stickers on the bottom. And then number 81 slash 83. I'm not so sure what that means, but that's on there. Um, I just think it's cute. I want to say this is probably from the 60s. This is, I feel... From like the 60s, yeah. Because, yeah, I just think that's about the period of it. Okay, so something that old, over 50 years old, I think this is in pretty good shape. So these two, for the two of them, I bought them for $2. And I'll tell you, I was quite surprised because this thrift store charges so much money for everything. And to get this, these two items for $2, I was amazed and shocked. I am expecting between 10 and 15, being that this sugar bowl is missing the lid and does have its issues with the crack and the chip, but the pitcher is in great shape. So I do expect, yeah, like 10 to $15 for those. So I'll be listing those around that price. The next piece, and I'm still not sure if I'm going to list it because I may really truly want to keep it. It is stamped K&L, Germany, and it is an oval celery dish, bread dish, some people call them celery dish. It's not hand-painted because I think it's more like a transferware maybe, but I just love this piece. It's like a beige and a cream and the pink roses. This goes great with your farmhouse bedroom. It goes great with your farmhouse dining room. If I was to keep this piece, I was going to keep it in my bedroom. So this way at night, when I take off my watch after work, I'm, I, you know, my rings, my jewelry, things that I, certain pieces that I wear every day daily, I could just put them in here. So I feel like it could be like a trinket dish placed on your dresser. I think it's beautiful though. So that's that. This I paid a dollar ninety nine, and I expect this that this the age of this was probably from about the nineteen thirties. So something that's seventy to eighty years old. I think this is in great shape. I expect to get at least ten dollars for this. If I do list it, I do expect ten dollars for this because it is nice. Matter of fact, though. I do, I, you're not going to be able to see it, I just, I can feel it. There is like a manufacturer floor, floor, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little lumpy, but it does not take away from this piece. This piece is just beautiful. Okay, so my next item, I don't know what I did with them, oh, here they are. These I'm still struggling with if I should keep them or not because I really, when I first saw them, I was like, these are pretty cool. And the theorem, I believe I'm pronouncing that right, theorem paintings. And they're paintings or stencils that were done and they're signed JA. I got, I have three of them by the same person, done by the same person. I know it's a little hard because I think this is reflecting my television and my windows and everything. But this is a potted strawberry plant. It's signed JA, it's framed. And if I do keep this, I'm gonna probably put like white chalk paint over the frame. I wanna like change the color for it to stand out or like cream color maybe. 
and just like scuff it up, distress it a little bit. But I thought this was like pretty cool. And here is the back. They put a wire on the back of it. Um, and then there are two more by the same person. And it was painted on like, it feels like a velvet or, or maybe a felt. This one is more strawberries. So I guess this is probably about a five by seven. The other one was probably an eight by 10. And here is a picture of pears. They're all the same technique. This one is beautiful. It has the pears, it has raspberries, it has blueberries. I think it's really nice. Um, this would really look great in a farmhouse kitchen. And like I said, I'm kind of struggling with this because I don't know if I want to sell it because I thought they were just really cute and different. I never, in all the times that I've been going thrift store shopping and everything, I personally never came across anything like this. I paid for all three of them. The two little ones, I paid 25 cents each. The larger one, I paid a dollar. When I was doing my research, some of them, you know, were going for like $40, the larger size. But I think that those are overinflated. I would expect for the set between $15 and $20. And again, I think that's not bad because you would be getting these two in this one. And they're framed. I mean, you could change your frames. But like I said, I would if I decide to keep them, I am going to paint the frames. I'm going to do something a little different. And they are all wood. It's not like nowadays a lot of resin. This is real wood, the frames. So those I really like a lot. Um, but yeah, I'm expecting like between $15 and $20 for those. The next item. <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. My cat and dog. Knocked it over. Here I am. Okay. My next item is a 1977 McCall's Raggedy Ann and Andy pattern. It has been cut. I am going to go through it to make sure all the pieces are there. I paid a quarter for this. This is 42 years old. I thought this was a great deal. I feel whoever buys it could make Raggedy Ann and Andy's. They could frame the pattern, you know, package if they want for like a little girl's room or something. I thought that would be cute. Or even a sewing room. If you have a vintage sewing room and you, you know, collect vintage patterns and you frame them. I paid 25 cents for this. I am going to be asking anywhere between three and five dollars for this. I'm gonna end this video because I'm gonna do another part three because I still have a few more pieces. That one will be real short. So thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. Please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.